I mean, it's difficult to know where to start with, with you, really. I mean, I think let's start with the kind of infamous issues that, that took place, you know, back in the day, I suppose, 1986, 1987. Just run our, our, our viewers and our listeners as well through what, what happened, really. And, and I understand that you want to kind of maybe set the record straight a little bit. Well, in 1986-87, um, I was prosecuted um, on four charges of gross indecency. I was and am a homosexual. I don't promote that, but it's just a matter yeah. of fact. And in those days, the age of consent for homosexuals was unequal in that heterosexual age of consent was 16, homosexual was 21. There was also a lacuna in the law between heterosexual and homosexuals, and that is in the homosexual area of the law. If you thought that the person you beam with was genuinely over the age of consent, but in fact they were one day under, yeah. you automatically committed an offence in the homosexual case, Goodness but me. not in the heterosexual case. And therefore, in those years, I became a, 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 a demon, right. a, a devil incarnate. And there were a number of reasons behind that, which I, I don't think truly came out, okay. not just the law, um, but that I crossed uh, a chap who was a publisher then, Robert Maxwell. Yes. yes. And infamous. Robert Maxwell, the infamous Robert Maxwell, uh, didn't like me because I defeated his friend in Basildon in 1979 and won Basildon with the largest yeah. swing in England to take a, a seat in 1979. Uh, he didn't like me for that. He didn't like me because I'd sued one of his newspapers for libel and won. Right. And um, I thought it was not right for a publisher of a newspaper not just to try his papers to report the news, but to make the news by putting 20 reporters down into my constituency <laughs> to try to persuade them to vote against me in my executive council oh, wow. meetings. Now, oh. Robert Maxwell, not normally, this is not normally known, he pretends to be Jewish. Right. He was not Jewish. It was Jewish when he thought it was in his interests. Right. He's as Jewish as a bacon sandwich. Right. Now, it's about time that somebody actually said that, and I said it tonight. 